It was one of the most brutal, most infamous crimes in history. The Tate LaBianca murders by members of the cult that followed killer Charles Manson. Now, one of the Manson family killers could be granted parole. A California appeals court ruled that Leslie Van Houten should be released from prison. She was sentenced to life behind bars more than 50 years ago for her role in the infamous Manson murders. Charles Manson and his followers went on a two-night killing spree in the summer of 1969, killing actress and model Sharon Tate and four others the first night. The second night, they killed a supermarket executive and his wife. Van Houten has been denied parole before, so there will likely be a lengthy legal battle before she's potentially released. Families of some victims don't want that to happen. Joining us now is Sharon Tate's sister, Deborah. And Deborah, your sister was eight and a half months pregnant when she was murdered by the Manson family. Your reaction that one of the killers might now be released? Uh, my reaction is that I knew that we would get here one day. Unfortunately, it's appalling to me that as a society, we would let predatory uh, killers that have been categorized as domestic terrorists even be considered for parole. But that is the law as it stands. The California go governor has the decision to um, appeal this to the California su Supreme Court, and I'm hoping that people will write the governor and tell them how they feel. Will you also fight her release? Absolutely. I've been appointed a family representative for more than two decades for the LaBianca family. They are in such egregious uh, situ situation emotionally and physically over this latest news that they can't uh, stand beside me or behind me at this point. This is catastrophic news to them, to the other uh, victims of the Manson family, as well as hundreds, possibly of thousands of other victims' families that I have heard from in the last 24 hours begging me to turn this train around because they know it will eventually affect their cases. Leslie Van Houten got the death penalty initially. They all did. And then the California Supreme Court ruled a year later that the death penalty was unconstitutional in 1972. And all their sentences were then commuted to life in prison. The parole board has said that Van Houten has shown remorse for her crimes and has, quote, extraordinary rehabilitative efforts. Um, do you think it's possible that she's a different person now? I sit in a hearing room at least once a year across from her. And I am privy to information <clears throat> from 50 years worth of records spoken from her, her various attorneys, parole commissioners, et cetera, et cetera. She, the California board wants rehabilitation to work, of course, mm -hmm. we all do. But there's a certain category of person that is unlikely for that to happen. Judge uh, Rothenchild, uh, got the information at the 11th hour that was spoken into record by Leslie herself that said, basically, I'm going to give you the crib note version. She, she has a, a, a tendency to choose partners in her personal relationships that have also committed extremely violent crimes. And then to me, as well as to the appellate court judge, that is a huge red flag. Do you she has associated herself You're with... talking about while she's in prison. I, I'm just curious, um, Deborah. That is correct. And, and when you sat in that courtroom every year, just feet away from her, how did she seem to you? She is speaking rehearsed words they take classes part of the rehabilitation program is they actually teach inmates what to say and how to handle themselves that is the, the rehabilitative program as we know it currently 
She has never said she was sorry in a letter or a personal form to the LaBianca family. She will cry phony tears uh, in the courtroom saying she's sorry to the parole board, but not to her victims' families. I got a letter from Charles Manson. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.